when Logic introduced the track stack feature, it addressed one of the longest running complaints about the venerable EXS sampler, its lack of multi-timbral capability. Track stacks were introduced along with the patch format, which allows you to save stacks that include multiple channel strips, multiple instances of EXS or other instruments, along with plugin effects, and even send and return setups, including aux channels. So by saving as a patch, you can easily save and load a multi-timbral instrument setup that includes effects, an especially welcome capability for those of us who've always longed for more functionality from EXS. In fact, Logic uses an EXS-based track stack under the hood for the drum kits in the Drum Kit Designer plugin, DKD, which is employed for drummer tracks and can be used on its own as well for live-played MIDI drum parts. A DKD producer kit is a summing stack, which consists of a single Drum Kit Designer plugin with multiple outputs that feed the various drums to different auxes for independent mixing, with everything being bussed to a master aux, which serves as the main channel strip for the stack. But this is a multi-output stack. It's not really a multi-timbral stack, where you'd have multiple instances of one or more instrument plugins in individual instrument channel strips. A multi-timbral track stack drum kit would be similar to the DKD producer kits, but might have each of the drums and cymbals loaded into separate instances of, say, EXS, instead of all loaded into one instance and distributed via multi-outputs to different auxes, like the DKD track stacks do. For many years, I'd used a set of custom drum kits utilizing multiple instances of EXS, which had to be combined into a single, usable, playable instrument via a very complex environment setup. When track stacks and patches were introduced, I set out to simplify this, utilizing the new multi-timbral capability of a summing stack to combine multiple EXS instances into a single track stack instrument, which could then be saved as a patch and loaded more easily into other Logic projects than the Rube Goldberg environment I'd devised, which did not travel easily, if at all. I set out to port the custom environment-based drum kits over to track stacks and patches, and that can serve as a good example of the possibilities those features have to offer for adventurous types who like to roll their own sounds. To create a track stack, you can simply right-click on a track header and choose Create Track Stack. To make a playable multi-timbral instrument, select Summing Stack. This will create a stack with a master aux and, initially, a single instrument channel strip. You can drag additional instrument channel strips into the stack and then load in whatever instruments or channel strip settings you want to include in the stack. They'll all be triggered together when you select the master aux and play, so you could layer multiple synths, set up keyboard splits by tweaking the ranges of the individual instruments, or, as I did, load in a separate instrument for each drum and cymbal in a drum kit mapped to the appropriate notes. I loaded previously saved channel strip settings for the various individual drums, which include mix processing for each kit piece as well. Now, why did I want to put each kit piece in a separate EXS instead of all-in-one, like the DKD track stack producer kits? Well, Drum Kit Designer uses velocity layers of different samples for each drum for dynamic playing variation, so all the settings, envelopes, filters, etc. for all the kit pieces can be the same. The dynamic variation is achieved strictly by the layering of samples. But my drum kits utilize EXS programming for dynamic variation. Velocity to attack, velocity to filter, velocity to amplitude, plus sample randomization for certain drums, and those settings need to be different for each drum and cymbal. In an individual instance of EXS, the options for that are somewhat limited and inconvenient to access, so it's much easier to have each drum in its own instance with easily accessed front panel settings specific to that kit piece. When all the kit pieces are loaded into the track stack, mixed and balanced, I can save the stack as a patch, which can then be easily loaded into any other Logic project. If I wanted, I could even include an aux in the track stack with a dedicated drum reverb, and that, along with the relevant send settings for each drum, would also be saved in the patch. 
Here's a finished track stack drum kit. It's easy to swap out drums by saving the individual drums and cymbals as individual channel strip settings, and then simply loading them in as desired. Swapping out a drum this way includes its own dedicated effects, like compression and EQ, as well as MIDI plugins with custom programming, but it doesn't change the current drum mix, making it easy to audition different drums for a drum track. But loading in a new patch will include the full mix that was saved with that patch. Track stacks and the patch format made it possible to forego my complicated environment-based drum setup, which kept breaking with new updates to Logic and was extremely difficult to export to a different project. By saving full kits as track stack-based patches and also saving the individual kit pieces as channel strip settings, it's easy to load kits and audition and swap out different drums, making for a more elegant setup whenever I want to use my custom drum kits. <laughs>